<laughs> need the neck beard. Yeah, I need the neck beard. You're right. Hey, what up, zombie airbrush? Okay. Continue. Where did I leave off? I forgot where I left off in this. Day 21. All right, looming epidemic, the new flu, money allocated for stadium reconstruction now missing, homeless man wins $23 million lottery. All right, you ready? Let's go to work. Time to figure out, kind of, I'm a cap. I'm a cap, damn it. All right. Squire Deluxe for two months. What up, Squire Deluxe? Oh, Carmichael. I took Carmichael. I took Carmichael all the way to fucking Germany, and I took no pictures. I just took him with me. He sat in my hotel room because I forgot to take him out to see the world. He. Oh. Hold on. Thank you, Joe. I forgot. <laughs> Yep. So that's he sat in my hotel room the whole time. Sat in my hotel room the whole time and I never took him out. It's just I felt so bad for him. And there's 8-bit era with 10 months. What up, 8-bit? All right. Today some of my relatives come to visit. They're from another country and never met before. Can I have a day off? Gordon. You're a good dick. You're one of my best dicks. I need you on today, but if you got uh, you got family, if you got family in town, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I let him go see his family? They're from another country. They're from, uh... What, what country do you think they're from? Look at him. Uh, I'm gonna say... Latvia? I don't know. <laughs> I should have taken him to meet the strippers. I should have. That would have been great. But fuckistan. <laughs> okay, let him see him. All right, yeah, but come back tomorrow. Oh yes, okay, you're gonna have the day off. Go ahead, have your day off. My grandfather's epilepsy, and recently the seizures have gotten worse. They happen to have more often. They all end in tears. The doctor said I need a special new drug that I can only get out of town. I'm the only one in the family who drives. Can I go get these drugs today, Robbins? God damn it, Robbins! I just let the my favorite dick off. You think I'm gonna let you off too? God damn it, Robbins! I need you here, but shit, shit! I gotta let you go. I gotta be a good. I gotta be a good boss. I got enough people on the the, the, the shift today. I'm gonna let you go. He's only mid tier, anyways. I let my best dick go, though. I let my best dick go. All right, let's see. What do we want to listen to? Let's listen to uh, Don't You Leave Me. Do it. Another day at the precinct. It's a hard life. Hard job. But I'm a hard man. All right. Businessman coming tomorrow. Hope everything is ready. Yes, I think it is. That's right. Uh, oh, I got a raise. All right, 10% more raise, and I can hire one more dick. Sweet. Let's see, who should we hire? Oh my God, Justin Case. He's gonna be my best dick. Oh, Justin Case. He's a haggard old old dick. He's a haggard old dick, but let's get him. Uh, what what shift are we on? We're on shift day. All right, let's get him for shift day. Got to get just in case. Um, now, there we go. So shift B is tomorrow, and I need three Asians, and I have Kochi, I have Asano, and I have. 
Cody. Okay, so I'm good for tomorrow. I've got my three Asian cops on duty for tomorrow for the uh, for the quota, I guess. The status quo. Or does he look like <laughs> crazy? No, what? Hold on. Nope. Shit, everything's all fucked. I forgot. Nope. Nope. Whoops. Whoa, damn it. Nope. I forgot which one it is. Oh, there it is. It's the minus. Okay. Because uh, someone was telling, or We Love Games was telling me, it's like, I missed the Mel Gibson shit. I missed the Mel Gibson shit. So I had to rearrange everything because I changed my resolution. So only like my static or my standard scenes are, are like put correctly. So I had to rearrange everything. I changed everything to 720. So I have to re rearrange all of my scenes. Sucks. Gamer Grill for five months in a row. What up, Gamer Grill? You and your mom are awesome. Love it. Keep up the awesomeness. Well, thank you, Gamer Grill. All right. An alarm has gone off one of the port warehouses. The guard assigned to the site is not responding, but the storekeeper says that this is nothing unusual. Apparently, the guard is an old man who regularly drinks and even sleeps in the warehouse. The room where the alarm went off stores frozen fish. All right. Dowel! Dowel, you're gonna, I'm gonna have you get in there and check that out. Check it out. Oh, base resolution 720 and then downscale to 720p. Okay. To 1080 and then, okay. That's what happened then. All right, who, what do we got here? Some of Vargas' men armed with flamethrowers burned down a city parkway named in Sands Honor. Definitely a job for the police. All right. That's another thing I forgot. We're on uh, sand. We're on his side during like the fucking mafia war. Oh shit. Yeah, ma. You are double talking on my computer. <laughs> I am. <laughs> yeah, it's saying it, and then you're saying it again. Like you're talking over top of each other yourself. You probably have two tabs open, ma. Oh, I do. Yep. Look up. Look up at the top. Okay. Of your screen, and it there's yes. there there might be two tabs that say like. There's two Ezekiel's up there. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Go up. Move your mouse up to one of them and hit X on one of them. Okay. Got it. Got it. Yep. Okay. So you have one now. Oh, perfect. Yes. Okay, ma. Thank you. No problem. Love you. Love you too. Bye bye. Bye. I love my mom so much. <laughs> You're double talking. All right. Nailed it. Okay. <laughs> uh, some of Argus men armed with flamethrowers. Uh, so let's let's get uh, let's get uh, Samadhi out there. Go get him, Samadhi. <laughs> oh, what's the report on the robbery? The arm was triggered by a flock of birds, garbage drunk, and in the company of a prostitute. Ah, uh, okay. And there was much rejoicing. Hey, there's a cheer for Zeke's mom! Yay! What's up? An elderly man was talking at nighttime walk with his dog, spotted a man and woman entering dark alley, then heard the woman crowd help. He's trying to... Okay, let's see. Um... Stovall, you take Spain, Grant, and God Bomber down there and check this shit out. And don't spare the batons! Oh, St. John's Hospital, what? Oh, shit. Oh, I don't have enough, I don't have enough dicks on this. All the pangos of farmers disappeared shortly after the building lost six trees. Farmers doors shows no sign of fourth century. All right, Mo Moser, Moser, you're on it. Then we got another one. Unknown person, person is broken into a pharmacy. 
Through a window and so expensive drugs, money in the cash register wasn't touched. Lead, Ames, you're on this one. Don't fuck this up. The commissioner's watching me on this one. Uh, carjacking. Uh, an elderly woman who was shutting her windows for the night noticed two teenagers across the street breaking the window of a car to get inside. Thompson, take Samadhi. Go check this out. Uh, a wounded man is lying unconscious beside a woman in a torn dress. The woman is in a state of shock and is hiding something behind her back. Uh... Let's see. It's Timpson, sir. Did I say Thompson? I meant Timpson. Sorry, T sorry, Thompson. Timpson. Whatever the fuck your name is. <clears throat> Point the gun at the woman. Tell her to raise her hands. Well, yeah, that's what a cop should do. We got to do it. She might be a murderer. The woman is state of shock, hiding something behind her back. Yeah. Oh yeah, the R word will get you timed out. By the way, in my channel, I'm sorry. For for one minute though, for only a minute. Uh, no, she. Could, I mean, she could be stabbing the shit out of a guy and just scream whatever she wants. She could be totally lying. Let's let's try this first. Let's try this first. Officers unharmed, civilians unharmed. There we go. Try that first. Try a calm approach first. We have a witness. That was a good job, you guys. Real clean. Nice police work. You good cats. Change it to one second. Yeah, okay. Uh, today, Freeberg will host a concert by pop singer Gennaro Crespo. We promised the concert organizers we'd help with security. Please send your best people. Uh, how, how, how about my uh, my good people? I don't have a best. I got good. Oh, I need three? I don't have three. Oh, fuck. Come on. I don't have three to give you. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. We got an investigation started here. Went over lunch. Shut the door behind me. Okay. I bet these things have similar things or whatever. Carjacking. What do you got? Offender caught. Officer unharmed. Timpson. Samadhi. Thompson. Simity. Good cops. Now, anything you found in that car? I don't know if you, if you put it in your pocket. I just I just don't want to hear about it, Timpson. Samadhi. I don't want to hear about it. But if you found anything in that car that might have caught your fancy, maybe your wife or your husband would have liked it to, go ahead and you go ahead and take that for yourself. <laughs> Any new VR porn at Gamescom? I didn't see any. Alone, Chief. All right, Cruz is hand. Engagement party turned into a bomb crisis when our guests discovered a powerful explosive right on the bank table. Extras already defused it, but it would be nice for the if the police reassure our frightened guests and confirm the situation is under control. All right, God Bomber, this seems like a good job for you, God Bomber. Go check it out. It seems like you're you're just suited for this position. We don't do best. We do good. We're good enough. What happened to my goddamn music? Oh, we got an assault at the vegetable shop. Uh oh. Two women were and a man were seen attacking a black couple, smacking them around with boots, no less. A local shopkeeper, like, like holding the boots, or like kicking them with boots on. It seems like it sounds like they're like grabbing the boots like by the laces and swinging them around. A uh, local shopkeeper warned he was calling the police, at which time the man ran away, but the two women continued the strange assault. Weird. All right. Stovall, Spain. 
Uh, let's see. Samadhi, Grant, we gotta gotta get our uh, Rainbow Coalition down there. Go get them. Check them out. See what's going on. See if this is racially motivated. What's up, General Hummel? How you doing? Uh, quiet. It's getting real quiet. All right. What's the news on the assault? Ah, we got him. All right. Never figured out what it was all about, but uh, good enough. Good enough. Good enough. We're doing well. 67,000 out of 500,000 that we need <laughs> need to win. Okay. Got three new frames. So some dude paid a homeless guy to break a window. Oh, this guy. Okay, we don't have enough. We don't have enough evidence yet to do anything. My mom would help me with this. My mom actually would be good at helping me with this because she watches Law and Order like all the time. All right. Not enough. Okay. We'll, we'll we'll look at that once once we have enough evidence. Well, the day's almost done. Just close out the day and no no nothing nothing uh There we go. Nothing out of the ordinary there. Sands got Sands winning by quite a bit. That's what we want. That's what we want. All right, we did good. Everybody came home safe. Feeling all right. Jenner found dead after stampede at school disco. Gay club admitting minors. Millionaire bum donates everything to church. Nice. I was up all night reading an exciting detective story called The Last Temptation of Neptune, but I didn't have time to get to the ending. I'm almost sort of the killer's commissioner hell, but I can't. Can, you, can I go home? God damn it, Percy! No, you can't go home, you dirty son of a bitch. You get your must, you get your porn stash in your fucking desk right now before I slap you with the goddamn suspension. I don't want to hear any more about it, Percy. I don't care who you know. I don't care who your friend is. I don't care who your uncle is or whatever the fuck. You get your ass in here right now. I'm going to teach you how to be a good cop or until it kills me. All right. So we got the, uh, got a, got a, got some stripes to give away today. Let's see. Who, who could I give it to? Who's been doing a great job here? Platonic. McNally. I don't know. Who should I give it to? Should I give the stripes to Percy? <laughs> Just give them to Percy. Maybe I should give it... No, let's give it... Mole, let's give it to one of my, my dicks. How do I... Okay. Why can't I... I can't, I can't actually, I can't, oh, I gotta, okay, there we go. Don't forget the record, yeah. Gotta give it to one of my dicks. Uh, what haven't I played yet? Oh, what's this? Temptation Blues. That sounds good. Hire Asian cops, okay. Jack, keep up the good work. We'll make sure finally the Freebird PD are much more comfortable. We did it. Oh, yes. Your friend sent you your share of from the sale of explosive. Oh, that's right. 
Uh, I better take it all this time. That's a, that is a big payday. I better take it all. It's a quiet day here at the precinct. See, we got Chinatown. Chinatown's blowing up. A uh, student reported seeing a truck drive into the yard of, at the hostel. A fat man climbed out and began to slice up a bench with a chainsaw. Some other students tried to intervene, but the man threatened them with a chainsaw, saying, I asked you nicely to keep quiet at night. Now you can park your yellow asses someplace else. Jesus. This guy is terrible. All right. Uh... Let's see. Asano. Played Sonic. McNally. Darnell. All y'all, get down there and check this shit out and see what this guy's all about. <laughs> Send Percy by himself, yeah. Oh, yeah, you can be extremely corrupt in this game if you want to. I couldn't send the SWAT team. It wasn't an option that time. Uh-oh. Shit! Situation's more serious than they thought! Alright! Uh... Percy! <laughs> Percy! Take Yancey and get down there! Assault with a deadly weapon! Johnson, Jurgen, and Katz Law Firm. A uh, call has come in from the Secretary of Law Officers. The law offices of Johnson, Jurgen, and Cash. She reports that a woman wearing an expensive fur coat and high heels entered the offices of the senior partners of the firm and asked the secretary not to disturb them. Shortly thereafter, shots rang out from the office. Oh, sounds like a jealous lover. Kochi, Purdy, Adams, Kodu. Hmm. Maybe we just send maybe we just send uh, Purdy and SWAT down there. <laughs> we got shots fired, gotta send the SWAT. <laughs> Offensive broke down for code. Code green, code yellow. <laughs> ah, got officers unharmed. Sweet. Everybody gets a promotion. All right, let's check this out. Officer oh, asking. officer, the office door is closed, but inside the sound of men screaming, gunshots, and breaking glass can be heard. Oh, man. Hey, we love games. There he is. Hello. Hello. I showed everybody what you got me, what you brought me. I got it home safe. I showed everybody that you, the vodka and the caviar earlier today that you got me. I got it home through customs. No problems at all. Can't wait to give it a try. Showed him the spoon. Showed him the, uh, the, uh, um, Hochloma, uh, spoon that you got me that I love. I'm gonna, I, I will cherish it. Um, venomous for 10 months in a row. What a venomous. Uh, let's see. The office door is closed, but inside the sounds of men screaming, gunshots, and breaking glass can be heard. Swipe the secretary's keys. Let's do that. A bald man in a suit is laying in a pool of blood. A woman in a fur coat is standing on the table, taking aim at two other men who are hiding behind an overturned bookcase. Pounce on the woman. Shoot the table leg. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everything went fine, but I, I had to put the spoon up my ass to get it through customs. <laughs> uh, drop your weapon. Dead or alive, you're coming with me. Let's see. That's a tough choice. We got the SWAT there. Uh, 
All right, drop your weapon right now. Yay! We did it! See, look, look how good we're doing as being fake cops. Drop your weapon. Uh, okay. The sand needs help. Some punks ransacked the house. Family members seems like they were looking for something, something other than money. Maybe a notebook with a bone. Contacts. Let's lock up these scumbags before they can do any real damage. All right, who's my most corrupt on the force? Let's see, McNally, you look like a looks like a shady character. Why don't you and Percy take care of this? There you go. Sophocles, theater of drama. Uh, Dear Mr. Boyd, the TV show I produced, Justice for All, suffered a terrible drop in rating last month. Our poll suggests that our viewers stop finding the shows believable. Currently shooting the next season, and for one episode, we need a real cop who will portray a cop pervert who is kidnapping young girls and leaving them in his car. We don't have a huge budget, but I think that we can afford a couple thousand for you. And for the cop who will play the part of the show. Plus, everyone in the city will see him in the show. Oh, that would have been a fuck! I wish Percy was available for this! I would have totally sent Percy for this one! God damn it! Alright. Darnell, you're in. Since you have a beard, you're in. Shit. That was a great job for Percy, but he's on a he's on a job. We'll get Darnell in there. You look you look the you look the part. All right, bomb threat. Bank Freeberg just called in uh, from a bank branch in the center of the city. A man entered, wired with explosives, threatened to blow himself up along with everyone nearby unless he was allowed to speak with the press and TV within the hour. The man claims that the bank took away his house after failure to pay, repay a loan, a loan which he says he never took out. How long until a SWAT's back? Okay, SWAT's back. Okay, we're gonna we're definitely gonna need the SWAT for this. So put the SWAT in there. Are you going to Insomnia? Insomnia 58? I don't know what that is. Oh, in, oh, Insomnia is just a thing. Insomnia 58 is probably a viewer. <laughs> but Insomnia is in, is in uh, England, right? All right. Kochi, Platonic. Uh, Purdy, Asano. Well, uh, get Purdy out of there. Get Adams in there. Actually, we'll just do three in SWAT. There we go. We'll check that out. Check it out. What's the report? Fuck you, boy. Take your fucking orders and shove them up your better half. I quit. What? Darnell quit? What? Thank you. Thanks for your help, Mr. Boyd. God damn it. Darnell! I could have had Percy quit! Oh, we got it. Officers unharmed. Civilians unharmed. Nice work, all. Nice work. That's some good cop. That's some good copping. That's good police work right there. All right. I lost Darnell. But we're going to get... Uh... Oh, shit. Changkit Pongdana. Yeah. Let's get you in there. You're going to be my... You're going to be my new... Uh, my new top cop. Going to be my new top cop, uh, Changkit. He didn't want to play a pedophile. Is that what it was? Or because I got the money. I think he did the thing. Because I think I got the money for it. I think he wanted to stop and just be like a fucking actor for the rest of his life. Uh, our family has several city officials on the payroll. One of them is uh, ushering some valuable items through the public transport system. The goods are slated to ship out tomorrow. It looks like some punks. We want to dump the car while we're for a clear dock. Our man in the port. Says they bribed some guards. Too bad they weren't smart enough to bribe the police. All right. McNally. Percy. My, <laughs> my fucking shady... My sh shady... Touchy team. <laughs> Go check that out.
You got mad for playing a pedophile scumbag? Maybe. That could be. Destruction property, Miss, Mrs. Sofa Furniture Store. The store manager reports that a long-haired old man with a large knife broke in. He's ripping out the li lining of our sofa, shouting, where's my money? Put this cook in a straitjacket. Or this kook. Oh, they spelled kook wrong. Supposed to put this cook. Unless he's a cook like it's a cooking knife. Like it's a really expensive cooking knife, then they can see he's a cook. But I think he meant kook. Uh, compound 1080. What a long, strange journey it has been. Indeed, 33 months in a row. Thank you, Compound. It's good to have you back, my friend. Welcome back. Any games you caught? Caught your eye at Gamescom? Yes, there was actually quite a few. Uh, I'd have to go through the list. In fact, I should probably do that. I should just go through the list of the games that I got to interview, or the game devs that I got to interview, and tell you all about the games. Um, put this kook in a straight obviously sick. Anyway, come quick. We're hiding in the back. Okay. Kochi. Purdy. Yancey. Go to. Get on it. How do you spell kook? Uh, metafaded, that's it right there. Where's the money? Where's the money, Lebowski? Where's the fucking money, shithead? It's down there somewhere. Let me take another look. All right. Pretty incident-free day. Let's see destruction of property. How we doing? There was really, there really was a bundle of cash hidden in one of the sofas. We found the money. What are we gonna do with it? Ask the mafia to sell it. How can you sell money? Bring it to the police station. Do I get to keep it then? Gotta launder it? Why would I have to launder cash, though? You don't have to launder cash. Oh, end the day. We lost Darnell, but we picked up another good cop, so we're fine. We're doing good. Continuing on. You sell the sequential bills, trade them for real cash. Okay, I get it. Truckers unhappy with suburban roads. Freeburg gymnast wins regional competition. Fire at the puppet theater. Two actors dead. So a slow news day. Tuesday's a slow. It's a slow news day. <laughs> it's my dog's birthday, and I want to spend the day with her at the park. Can you let me off? God damn it, Moser! I'm, I love dogs as much as the next guy, but you pull this shit. Too many times. First it was your grandpa. Now it's your dog. God damn it. I got to draw the line somewhere, Moser. I'm going to say no on that. City officials wanted to demolish my house because of the, some bureaucratic error. If I don't resolve the problem today, my family is going to have to find another place to live. Can I have the day off? Stovall, you're my best cop. You're my best cop, and I need you there every day. But God damn it. If you, if you, need, another, if you need a day off to get your place in order, I got to say yes. Oh, sweet ginger green. Love to have you as my boss. Well, thank you, Attack Mac. I try to be a, I try to be a good boss. Oh, my share. 10,000. Shit. That's a lot of dough. I, uh, shit, I better keep my guys happy because that's a lot of that's a lot of money. You're breaking my balls, Stova. You're breaking my balls. A uh, girl shouted over the phone that her grandmother has been killed at her home. Uh, all right, Spain, Ozaki, Dell. Go check that out. Sweet ginger 
Oh, we got a fight at the city center. A few drunks were playing darts, and one of them got in the sh got one in the shoulder. A fight broke out, which was quickly joined by other patrons of the bar. Timson, Samadhi, Grant. We should get the paddy wagon over there. Go! Go see what's going on over there. Haul him in. They give you any shit. You tell him I'm not in the mood. All right. The road to the house is strewn with corpses of do drowned dogs. The lights inside are on, but the, ho but the door is locked. Find another way in. An elderly, a bleeding elderly woman is lying on the floor of the living room. Check whether she's still alive, yeah. Pender caught officers on harm. Said, what happened? We don't get to know what happened. What happened? I don't even know what happened. But we did a good job. We did a good job. What's the report? What's the deal on the fight? We got him? That's a good job, Timson, Samadhi, and Grant. You guys did good. Hauled them all in. Nobody's hurt. Stay safe out there. All right, homicide, residential area. Fiona Kalis was found in her apartment with it, with her head caved in. A meat tenderized camera is found next to a woman's body. Case, Gordon, you're on this one. Don't fuck it up. She's just a dancer queen. The old lady was the criminal? Yeah. Thank you, Joker. Oh, just in case. That's right. Just in case is on the case. Uh, family Bank just called in a report of a strange man in a leather jacket with fake documents trying to empty at one of our accounts. Obviously, one of Vegas or Vargas agents. Such a stupid move. We don't want to get our, get our hands dirty. Just lock him away in a filthy cell. All right. Who's the most corrupt cop I got? God bomber, get in there. Don't tell the other cops what I told you to do. Punk ass grandma's bleeding everywhere. How would, like, what I don't understand is, like, how she would, like, be able to, like, an old lady drowning dogs. Like, that, I, you would think that would take some, like, strength and effort. Uh, someone banged on the door and my, my mother told me to hide under the bed, close my eyes and ears, be quiet as a mouse. I only heard muffled screams when I got out from under there, but found my mother in the in the blood and called the police. Okay. So we started it. Started the investigation. A touch of Dionysus liquor store. Mm. Her cookies were subpar. <laughs> He's going to fight, yeah, just in case the court orders off, he's going to fight Carmen San Diego. Which is like, you know. Hold on. Which is ba basically, basically like the best theme song ever. One, two, three. <laughs> Around the world from the to Carolina, bigger filter from down to Belize. On a slow boat, China, tell me where in the world is Carmen San Diego? All right, let's get it. Sing in the blues. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? This is a great song, dude. And back! Pakistan and run a scam in Scandinavia. I love this song. Throw the beans from Lima. Tell me where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Rockapella is awesome. I got I saw them live once. They're fantastic. 
Yeah, these guys are fantastic. All right. That's good enough. I just love that. I just love the song. I wanted to hear it. So I apologize to anyone who hates it or whatever. Uh, here we go. So we don't have it. I think the problem is we don't have any music on. A cashier just called in her voice in a whisper. Two suspicious black men have entered the store. They spent a few minutes browsing the rack where the expensive whiskey and now whispering to each other and look back at me. It looks like they're planning on robbing the store. Lady, I, I think you're just a racist is all. So we'll send, let's see, let's send uh, Timpson and Spain, uh, Robbins and Dowell. Let's send, let's send all them down there and see how you, see what you think about that. All right. Oh, shit. I got, I got no dicks. I got no dicks to put on this. The Secretary of Prominent Businessman Elvis Calvo reports the unknown persons broke into her boss. Boss office threw him out the window. Well, shit, I got no dicks to put on it. Damn it. Damn it. I got no dick. I got no dick to put on this case. Hopefully it'll stick around. Hopefully I can just put a dick on it later. <laughs> You can shovel the detectives around? Oh, you can? Okay, hold on. Oh, theft, robbery, homicide. Oh, they, oh here we go. Detectives. There we go. Wait a minute, so I can take... So I can take him off of it. Okay. And then, there we go. But Gordon, there we go. All right, there we go. Got it. No problem. All right. See, the men were unarmed doing a little shopping. They're picking out an expensive bottle of whiskey as a gift for their grandfather's anniversary. You racist old hag. I knew it. Timson, Spain, Robbins, Dowell. I'm sorry I had to send you out on that one, but uh, I think I had to teach this lady a lesson how not to judge a book by its cover, if you know what I'm saying. All right. Uh, Passed by witness three people trying to break into an ATM. A pickup truck was parked nearby. Its engine's still on with another man behind the wheel. Looks like they're trying to grab the ATM and carry it away in the truck. Well, Samadhi, Ozaki, Grant. Well, now let's get God <laughs> get God Bomber on that. We're going to leave you behind, too. Grant, why don't you guys go check that out? All right, let's see. How are we doing? Oh, the investigation has started. All right. Yeah, and I know I know I can look through all these, but I'll look like I'll save that until I can uh until I get at least a little bit more on the investigations. Like cuz I know how the investigation like you have to have enough pictures to put in there. But once I have enough pictures, then I'll start looking at the other clues and stuff. <clears throat> all right. Some punks are throwing Molotov cocktails into the office building where we make where we make book? Where where we make book? Eyewitnesses say the idiots keep throwing bottle after bottle, even though building even though building is already falling apart. They're probably still somewhere nearby. Timpson, Dowell, get on that. Check it out. See what's going on. Oh, the situation requires is more serious than we thought. Requesting reinforcements. Spain, Ozaki, Robbins, get on that. Left me with no caps. I got no caps left. 
I'm not an asshole, Ben. Ben. I'm not an asshole. I'm not. Homicide. You got three new frames. Homicide. Ooh, got three new frames. Oh, is it the same? It's not the same one. Okay, I got lots of homicides. Got lots of stuff going on. Oh, there we go. Now I've got enough frames to check this one out. Okay. Uh, last, uh, the night before last, everything was fine. We left, just closed the pharmacy like usual, went home. It was a little past nine. At exactly half past nine, I was at the bus stop. That I'm sure of. In the morning, I went to work like usual and saw the broken window and called the police. Yes, I hang around at, uh, at night near the pharmacy, but I don't remember much. One guy said to drink for my health, but threw a $50 bill in my hat. I had a little celebration after I ran a store, but I remember woke this morning. Cops were all over. Okay. Uh, all I can recall is, a, uh, is the light struck something in his jacket, like something, something like a doctor's clothes. Okay, so that's this guy. Oh, so the doctor, the guy in the doctor's clothes, gave this dude money. Maybe. I was kidding. You're a great guy. Oh, thank you, Ben. I just play one on Twitch. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm one tenth of the way done, right? Yeah. Uh, James came came home a couple hours later than regular, but that's not so unusual. The insurance refused to pay for the treatment he needs, so now he's short on money. He's always trying to find part-time work. Oh, he came home later than usual. He's willing to take on even the most difficult and dangerous work. Yesterday, for example, he changed his clothes. Stones and debris fell out. I'm starting to wonder, really worry about the hellish jobs he's getting himself into. So that's not right. So he put on a jacket over his doctor's clothes. He locked up, put on his jacket, broke in, started stealing shit. Oh. Paid him to go out and have a good time? No, okay. Yeah, he robbed his own store. That's that's what I'm getting from this. There's him robbing in his own store there. Uh, those damn bums are always begging near my pharmacy and are up to no good. Obviously, one of them thought he'd be daring and take me for all I'm worth. Look at the guy. He's barely keeping on his feet. Where did the money come from for all his alcohol? Yeah. The medicine they stole is Debraza caps. It's very expensive, not a lot of street interest, so I doubt sell it on the black market. I don't think it was stolen for resale. Let's see. We need a law and order pro. We need your mom. Mom! Mom, help me. I don't know what I don't know what happened. So this is out. Oh, I see. Okay, that's that's him leaving with the with the stuff. So he breaks in, steals everything. Or no no no, hold on. First he bribes the bum to go away. Breaks in, grabs the shit. That's like coins and stuff. The bomb. Speed Roby. Threw a $50 bill in my hat. So it's not coins, it's a $50 bill. Yeah, he didn't. Well, hold on. Was the window broken? So the, as soon as I saw the broken window, I called the police. The window was broken, so we know that. But he had to pay off the guy first. Like, $50 bill, that is not a $50 bill. That's coins. So maybe we need more. I think we need more frames. Yeah, but I don't know if this is a, a bag full of stuff or a bag, you know, not full of stuff. So he bribed the guy first. 
Mister 27 months. Holy shit. Two years, three months. What's up? Okay, so he gives, like, a $50 bill. He doesn't cover him in money. But he grabs all the stuff. Oh, grabs all the stuff first. Locks up. Bribes the guy. Breaks the window and then leaves. So this, this is how I'm seeing it go. Gets off work, steals the drugs. He locks up, bribes the bum to leave, and then smashes the window. Unless he bribes the bum first. He could be bribing the bum first and then doing everything. <clears throat> Honey, I don't know how to play it all. <laughs> God damn it, ma. Yeah, this is the bum, though. This is the bum, like, giving stuff for cash, but that's not... I don't know if I have enough. I don't know if I have enough frames yet. I don't know if I have enough evidence. I might not have enough frames yet. Cause this is like this is pointing the finger at the bum who did it, but Mr. But Mrs. Roby, or excuse me, Mrs. Duff said he got home late, come home hours later than regular. Regular, and he's saying, uh, usual. He said he closed up the pharmacy like usual and went home. But Mrs. Duff is saying he's late, so he's the culprit. He's the guy who did it. But yeah, this this doesn't make sense either. Oh yeah, he, this is the change he got from his stuff. He's drinking and he got change from from his fifty dollar bill that the guy gave him. That's coins. Because it doesn't seem like like the bum doesn't do anything like that would be if the bum robbed the store. But I don't think the bum robbed the store. I don't. F I feel like I don't have enough frames. Because this would be the last thing he did. Would be to break the thing. Also, it doesn't like. He would yeah lock up the store, bust out the window, and then take off. But we'd have to bribe the bum first so he didn't see anything. But see, this is not $50 bill. This is coins that he's given the guy. This is not, this is like spare change. And this is the wrong color jacket. So I really don't think I have enough. We got two new frames. <clears throat> fat kid medic for 17 months. What up, fat kid? How you doing, fat kid? I have faith in you. Thanks, mom. Back to my lurking corner. What a fat kid. One year, four months, or one year, uh, excuse me. Uh, one year, five months, pardon me. Uh, I went for lunch at one o'clock, and a couple of minutes later, the lights went out. I shut the door behind me. Remember that I bumped in the janitor's car and was standing in the hallway. 
I spec student Aaron Jones. He came out of the hospital several times, static fusion, red eyes, dragging his backpack behind him. It never occurred to me that he might be an addict. I was in the bathroom and the lights went out. The only thing I saw was normally see you while you're sitting on the toilet. Oh, and the janitor came in the restroom with him, with his cart. Heard him emptying the bin. And the lights, then the lights came on. I went to head the physician's office for a signature, but he wasn't there. Yes, I have the keys to the pharmacy. I wash the floors there just like everywhere else, but I don't have access to the electrical panel. Only my superiors have those keys, and here's another mystery. What happened to my garbage bags? Someone took them out of my truck, and I can't find them anywhere. The last frame before the film cuts out shows Jenner going down the corridor, his cart standing near the door. Hospital pharmacy, kind of thing. Yeah, not enough frames. All right, hold on one second here. Uh. Well, that's yeah, like this. I I still I still don't think I have enough frames for this. Because he would, he, okay, if he was an employee at the pharmacy, he would steal the drugs, lock up, pay the bum to leave, and then break the window. Oh, well, shit, that fucking sucks because it says $50 bill, and maybe that was just wrong. Okay. A pharmacist with a rare skin disease decided to steal the medicine he needed because the insurance company refused to pay for his medical bills. Okay. Well, the $50 bill kind of threw me off because it's co it shows coins dropping. So I didn't think that was it, but whatever. We got it. It's done. We got it. Officers in harm. Good job. Samadhi, Grant, God Bomber, Spain, Azaki, Robbins. Good job. You good caps. And, of course, I don't have enough people to put on this. Oh, shit. God damn it. Okay, oh, oh, I can't do anything. I have to end the day now. All right. Based on the shift A shift B thing, would it be would it be useful to have an A detective and a B detective on each case? That that would make sense. Okay, Central Library flooded and downpour, Freeburg mortality rate of fifteen percent, farmers harvest record corn crop. I gotta get the starter checked on this goddamn piece of shit. I drank too much. I don't think I can hold it together today. Can I go home? You can go home today. Percy, goddammit, you can go home tomorrow. You know what? Why don't you take the whole life off? Because you're fired. You're fired, Percy. No, you can't. Yo, look at him. He's look at the little bottle symbol by his name. <laughs> no, you're gonna you're gonna make it through the day, Percy. I'm gonna we're gonna make sure you count, because that's how cops do it. You gotta stay here, cause I'm gonna send you on a case that's really important. <laughs> All right. Haven't had a break for a bit. I'm gonna actually get up, go to the bathroom, and make some more coffee, cause I'm almost out. Stick around, just just a short break. We'll be right back. So uh, we got more we got more cap stuff to do. 
We gotta do more cap stuff. So stick around, I'll be right back. <laughs> 